this video let us go through a step by step overview of implementing line authorizations in ECC or uh, S4 HANA environment. We will use the transaction code as OB52 as our example to demonstrate uh, how we can restrict access to specific rows in a table. Now when you use SC16, you get access to all the records in a table. But using the concept of line authorizations, you can restrict access to specific records in a table, specific rows from a table. Now the only thing here is that you need to define um, an OR criteria based on which uh, the access to records or access to rows will be restricted and instead of using along with uh, using the tabu s underscore tabu underscore dis object now you'll also for restricting access to specific records specific rows from a table you will also now need to use uh, an object which called s underscore tabu underscore align so for implementing line authorizations, uh, you have you have two three steps that you need to follow. Okay, so one you have to configure the OR criteria that based based on which you want to restrict the data or the records rows from the table, and then you then you has you have to create a role with the table in uh, object in it for the transaction code. So our in our example we are take we are going to use the transaction code OB52 which is for posting you know uh, posting periods opening, opening and closing of posting periods okay and you have a column called variant which is actually your company code okay so so we are going to use this company code uh, variant to restrict access to the rows from this table okay so let's say we want to restrict access to all the we want to give on the records access to, to only the records mca okay so the table for this is or the view okay so if you go to tape ac16 the table for this uh, ob52 is t001b so when i look at the table content unless i say mca okay and execute I, unless I use the selection criteria I cannot filter the uh, records from the table but if I use any you know without execute it without filters then I get access to all tables right so SA16 gives you a record you know access to all records in a table whereas using line authorization concept you can restrict access to specific records okay so we are going to restrict uh, records with the variant or the or criteria mca okay so when we implement it the user should be able to see only these six records okay instead of instead of all of all of this 19 records that you see here okay so so how do we configure so this is so one thing that you need is you need the table name or the view from where the records are going to be pulled so you need to note and you need to have that and then you also need to know what is the variant that you're going to restrict the data on so in our case we are going to restrict the data on the variant BUKRS, the field BUKRS, which is our company code. Okay. So let's see how do we configure this first. So to do the configuration, you go to the transaction SPRO. Okay. Go to IMG. Open up SAP NetWeaver. Then open up application server. 
then open up systems administration within systems administration open users and authorizations and you will find line authorizations option there right let's see the documentation as to what this does so in the line authorization line oriented authorization you make settings to restrict access to tables by an or criteria okay so you can give a user authors access user access authorization to sp specified rows of a table only specific rows of the tables okay specific records but in order to do that you you have to define an or criteria in a cross client table this is also important so this is applicable to any table a tables which are uh, cross client and uh, wherein you can use a or criteria okay which allows you to use a or criteria a field one of the fields as or criteria okay so and then you need to use the object taboo and s underscore taboo underscore lion okay so you read this documentation so this gives you an idea about the concept of line authorizations the main thing you need to main thing here is the concept of line authorization gives access to specific rows of a table okay second you need an or criteria for it in a cross client table all right so and then you use then another authorization object called tab1 s underscore tab1 underscore align so let's look, go and now configure this so this is a two step process okay so one you define the or criteria then you activate that or criteria all right so click on define or criteria and the table that we need is table or the view is t001b and the field that we want to restrict is by bookers the company code so click on new entries and let's say i say y will be 52 okay we'll say line authorizations for t code ob 52 save it if you are prompted for a transport request you can create a new transport request let's do that and then click on attributes okay and click then click on new entries and here is where you define your attributes so I'll say company code and if I want you can repeat the same uh, description here but if let's say let's say the book company code attribute is says bukrs bookers and then say company code so what is the authorization field at what level is the criteria right so this is the first or criteria that we have so we on the same table if you want to restrict by and you know filter it further then you can use the remaining you know whatever number of or criteria attributes if you, you can if you want to use you can use multiple so in our case we are going to just use bookers as our first or criteria attribute click on save okay and then click on table fields click on new entries and this is where you are going to define uh, your specified from which table or the view the restrict and role restriction is going to needs to happen okay the transaction the transaction code is ob52 and we know we have seen the table or the view for this table uh, for this transaction code is v underscore t 001b okay and the field that we are going to restrict on is if we click on the field we have the different fields that are coming from this table view and we are going to do that on restrict the records by the bookers field okay 
so this is the org criteria that we are defining click on save so the you have defined your org criteria now okay this is your org criteria go back and scroll down and then select this table independent checkbox okay save this so now your org criteria definition for ob52 is complete now the next step is to activate this org criteria so in the second step click on execute activate org criteria and select this activate checkbox click on save suppose asks you to put it in a transport request do that and and for every step you can actually read the documentation also okay what you are going to do in that step so they must be activated for each grant all right so this is the configuration step now because ob52 is needs we are trying to restrict access to specific rows for ob52 and we need to use that authorization object uh, s underscore tab underscore align let us now go and tie that up with the transaction ob52 in su24 so in su24 enter ob52 execute go display change and see if tabulin is there or not if it is not then click on this object object add authorization object and you add the object s underscore tabu underscore align continue and let's say you know you just maintain if you want to leave this blank that's fine you know or if you maintain the activity field that's okay click on save so we're leaving it blank for now put it in a transport request the changes that you're making now you go and create a role for this so go to transaction pfcg and let's say i create a role called ob yob 52 create the role transaction code ob52 assign transaction codes save and then go to change authorization data so now you have to maintain the authorizations okay so you will have all the three objects right which are related to tables tabu dis and tabu nam tabu nam now in S4 HANA onwards, system SAP has reduced the concept of using Tabu Disk for restricting access to tables. Okay, so the new object that they are into that now using is Tabu NAM. And if you see here, trans tables related to OB52 are automatically populated by SAP. Okay, so you don't need to touch this. But because you want to restrict access to specific records, you have to maintain the object ties underscore tabo underscore align click on our criteria this is where you specify the our criteria that you created in this pro okay and the company code right this is the criteria or attribute name that you gave and from field let's say if you want to restrict access to specific uh, variants or company codes 
select the company code okay mca in our case and uh, we have we define only one attribute right for the our criteria we didn't define none so we cannot select the remaining ones say continue and transfer now based on the activity okay for the our criteria you can specify display change or both okay so let's say both okay transfer so the fields the authorization object is now maintained we generate the role assign it to a test user id so we have a test user id called t dash ob52 that we created save it okay okay so the role is now assigned to the user let's go and check the user id okay to see if what are the roles this has so display in su01 click on roles so there's the only one role right now let us go and log in with this test user id and execute the transaction ob52 say continue and now you see based on our criteria the user is only allowed to see certain records the which is based on the or criteria in the role okay now let's say if i change this to change the role to some other or criteria okay so let's say change this to other so go to table len See, even though you know uh, okay so instead of mca let's say i want to restrict access to this variant okay, let's see what happens with this generate okay and let's go back say execute the transaction code again and continue there's no crane so that thing does not exist okay so there is no records for that particular variant all right so let's go and then let's say let's take kbr okay generate so if I go back and come back in again so then now the user can see only one record so so you see right when you use line authorizations the you can restrict access to specific records specific rows from a table okay so but there are conditions for that one there you need to define the or criteria on based on which you want to do the row restriction record restrictions secondly uh, the table it's a cross client table that needs to uh, that needs to have a field that can be used as a or criteria okay and then you, you then you have to use the authorization object s underscore tabo underscore lin okay so these these are the three four conditions that you have to implement uh, the concept of line authorizations which is to restrict access to records in a table okay based on an or criteria